Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, my dear sister. This is your soul sister and coach, Khadija Tusabur. And I want to bring you a brief reminder on this Eid morning. And that is the fact that, alhamdulillah, during Ramadan, we were all able to really push ourselves, to put our best foot forward, to really seek, not just to seek Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but also seek the highest and better version of ourselves to actually live out the reason for our creation, which as Allah says, I have not created the jinn nor mankind except to worship me alone. So in Ramadan, Alhamdulillah, we're able to really meet and connect with that higher version of ourselves, that version of ourselves that's truly living our purpose. So the question is, you've met her, you felt what it's like to really be focused in that way. You felt what it's like to really prioritize your connection to your Lord and your connection to your soul. So now that you've met that version of yourself, now what? Now what? Too often, you know, we strive to Ramadan. And alhamdulillah, we get all the benefits and the blessings of doing so. But then we can get fatigued. But we have to understand that yes, okay, we rest, we celebrate, we recalibrate. But we don't have to lose what we felt. We don't have to lose that connection to our Lord. And we don't have to lose that connection to that better version of ourselves. So I have a challenge for you. And it's really a challenge for myself first. But I'm sharing it with you in the hopes that it should benefit the show. So Island, now that you've met that version of yourself, you've tasted that sweetness, even with the exhaustion. Now what? Now what? How can you hold on to her? How can you maintain that in some small way? How can you connect to that feeling, to that vibe, to that version of yourself on a regular basis? Because as I always say, Ramadan is not just a one-time event, not just once a year. It's a training ground for life. So if that's the case, if we've been through basic training through boot camp, we're supposed to graduate, right? When we go through any type of training, the next thing is we graduate, we move on, we don't regress. So if we just been through basic training, if we just been through boot camp, right? Now it's time to enlist, it's time to make this a full-time thing. Not saying you have to go as hard as you did in Ramadan, but what can you do to hold on to that essence, that purpose, right? How can you continue to prioritize Ibadah in your life? And I'm telling you, if you do so, if you focus in that way, not only will you, inshallah ta'ala, have a beautiful year, but you will find that your life elevates in so many different ways. And that's what we want. That's the goal, inshallah ta'ala. So again, just a short reminder that, subhanAllah, you've been able to meet inshallah, and interact with that better version of yourself in the blessed month. So ask yourself, now what? Do I want to keep her around? Did I like her? Right? Was she beneficial? Was she focused? Was she purposeful? How did she feel? Did she have less anxiety? You know what I mean? Like, now what? And again, I ask myself this first. May Allah allow us to hold on to the benefit that we gain in the blessed month and to continue to elevate year after year in Shalom Again, this is your coach and soul system the journey, Khadija Sabor. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.